Hey, how are you doing? I sometimes think that the way of thinking of placing the right person in the right position is incompatible with gender equality and abolition of racism that we aim for. To realize a fair society from the viewpoint that there is a certain trend in each element. So what I want to talk about here is like men and women are different from each other, clearly. Fundamentally, men and women have different way of thinking from each other and what we are good at and what we are bad at are totally different between men and women. And in addition, we have biological difference between men and women. So men have sperm to leave offspring and women can give a birth to a baby from sperm in their stomach. Okay? So obviously, biological roles are basically not substitutable between men and women. So apart from individual excellent abilities, the movement of gender equality in a society after elimination of gender discrimination is far from the way of thinking of placing the right person in the right position. Considering the trend of virus statistics indicators, right? For example, a lot of women, a lot of women uh, tend to apply for nurse job, and a lot of women uh, tend to apply uh, for uh, the teacher position of a kindergarten. In contrast, men tend to apply for uh, investment dealer or salesman, sales position, sales job and farming job or something like that. So, of course, there is a ops there the opposite, uh, opposite gender in any industries in the world. But as an overall trend, a job with a lot of men and a job uh, with a lot of women are clearly divided depending on the industry, right? So this significant statistical trend between two genders has something to do with the difference of the role that each gender have instinctively when they were born. So in the period of time when the role and position are clearly different between men and women, people just, I think people just emphasized rationality of differentiation of social position and role in accordance with the characteristic of genders, right? So because they instinctively knew work and social position are clearly uh, decided according to the characteristic of gender that people widely recognize. It's way more you know, reasonable to realize placing the right, uh, right person in the right position uh, from the macro perspective, right? So in that sense, in that sense, I sometimes think that gender discrimination on work and position is way more close to realize placing the right person in the right place, right position, than gender equality on work. So I think, you know, I think freedom, freedom to choose occupation must be left and must be established in a society to some extent as people's right because the difference of individual ability has nothing to do with the difference of the characteristic of gender. There's always minority of the opposite gender with high potential that can overcome the envir environment where people say it's impossible for the gender to work on. Right? So this is the issue. This is the issue of individual ability. So we have to so consider these two factors separately between the so gender problem of individual uh, abilities. So, for example, um, a lady keeps working, uh, keeps working in a sales company and a lady keeps making a great uh, sales achievement in a sales company whose workers are 90% uh, men. So, however, when we observe the trend, how we, uh, however, when we observe the trend of gender uh, sociality uh, from macro perspective, macro, macro 
or statistics of sales achievement and the number of managers in a certain industry and income level and social status, social position and occupation and etc. I think there is a certain bias in each element depending on which gender we belong to. So from this perspective, apart from fairness of our opportunity for people's individual ability, eh, gender equality is, is, I think, far from the way of thinking or pla placing the right, uh, right person in the right place, li like position. So political measures, political measures that promote women's empowerment have been eh, enforced one after another these days in Japan. But I always wonder if the if this movement is really reasonable for Jap uh, for Japanese women's uh, sociality because you know because the number of managers that account for women's population in Japanese society is uh, is still few, very few. Although the although the import importance of women's empowerment is widely advocated in the Japanese society widely. So, which means at least, women's Japanese women's empowerment is not reasonable, or for women, from the viewpoint of placing the right, right person in the right position, in Japan. But of course, there is a there. Of course, there is a big element that can be categorized as women who who raised, and grew up. In a Japanese society, so simply speaking, simply simply speaking, you know, racial characteristic and plus gender characteristics don't accept possibly the concept of women's empowerment and gender equality in Japan in their deep mind. So the idea of gender equality doesn't necessarily bring fairness. In both gender, in a society, in a real sense, I think this is my opinion. So, rather clarifying the role of gender discriminately with the understanding of characteristic of gender is more reasonable for people to realize real fairness in a society, in a real sense. I think. However, if genders, if gender equality that is advocated widely in a society comes from people's simple emotion. Like men always have a good social status and they always get a great job with a great salary, and women should be also given a, given the right to get a job that is socially in respected or something. I think there is a huge bias between people's emotional aspects and actual condition. You know what I mean. So the story, this story, can also correspond to racial pr problem. So there is. Uh, you know, st statistical trend of the difference of work position by race, like the percentage of managers in a company that count for white white people, or is much more than other races, and the percentage of labor that account for uh, Hispanic people, is much more than other races in the in the states. The percentage of basketball players that account for black people is much more than other races, right? So, or something like that. So, the difference of apti aptitude for taxable job according to races is uh, extremely biased. So, when we think this, when we think about this fact, so discrimination is naturally existing in our society. Rather, we possibly accept the situation because this is the essence of. Difference and uniqueness of individuals, right? Of course, we, if we want to resist this kind of, you know, gender trend and racial trends, racial trends, you make great effort to overcome the num a number of missions, number of difficulties to prove that there is a certain uh, gender equality in a society. That's all right. However, when we think of, when we think about people's happiness. We really have to figure out if we we are really happy if we do our activity within the range that the group that individuals belong to is aptitude for, or if you are if we were really happy if we you know take 
take the stance to resist racial and gender aptitude or trends. So one thing I can say for sure uh, is that um, Japanese people are really not suitable for managing a company from the perspective of racial characteristic when we see the situ when we see the economic situation in Japan. Ser you know, Japan is now a serious recession. 